It is day one of our Volbiv trip. We're starting in Slovenia, Tolman, and we're hiking up super friendly guys there at the at the uh, campsite at Camp Gibjur, it was. And uh, the weather, so far it's looking a little better than we actually saw on the forecast. Um, and the main idea today is to try and clear out of Slovenia um, because they've got this really strong north wind coming and try and make it into Italy onto sort of the front foothills of the Alps. Um, if we can do that today, we need to fly, you know, 40 or 50 kilometers. So, yeah, let's see. So far we've hiked 800 meters. It's pretty hard going, it's really humid. Bags are super heavy, so uh, our bags are probably about 24 kilos each, which is definitely not messing around. Uh, but we're making good progress. We had a pretty chilled start. We've just taken off. We're on our first glide after thermaling up. A little dubious if this is going to work or not. We're going to be coming in pretty low, but see what we can do. This is good. We were getting a bit low, but we've just hit this fucking rocket ship of a thermal, which is taking us up real nice. Just got to stay with it. Keep believing. It's going to be a lot of keep believing in this dream if we're going to make much progress today. <laughs> Because it's not an ideal flying day, but we're doing our best, and that's the main thing. Yeah, let's go! That was a sick climb, dude! I'm pretty skeptical too, I think we're just going to have to see what we get when we get there. So we're making our first big glide now. We took a really nice climb there up to cloud base, which was like, I don't know, maybe 1,700 meters, pretty nice. Now we're flying out over to Kovarid, um, and we got the beautiful Socha River below us. This is, I've spent a lot of time here teaching kayaking, so this is really nice to, uh, to see, really. I'm super stoked to be flying here. Found a really good climb. Jack's just a bit below me, but hopefully he'll get into it as well. It's quite a strong southwesterly, so just being careful here. Oh, this is going up quick. Here we go. This could get us onto the ridge. Got onto the ridge of stool, but it's a really strong westerly. I'm barely making any progress at all. GPS recording saying that the wind is 21k an hour. Got a measurement of 30 kilometers an hour average on the, the thing. I don't know if that's true, but yeah, just bridge soaring along. We got a gap further up, so we're really not sure if we're gonna be able to cross that. Let's see. So Jack's just top, well, kind of side landed, because uh, we're getting a bit low. I'm still in the air, but obviously, but probably not going to be able to keep it much longer, so probably just going to go join him for the landing now. So pretty man, can't describe to you how beautiful this is right now, it's insane. I love just skirting around the edges of clouds like this, we're at 1900 meters. Hi. At the top of the 
clouds. We want to go less late. Yeah. What a flight. Dude. What the fuck? That was one of the most insane flights ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. And this like, look at this spot. This could not Shot, be any better. Shotgun. <laughs> You're taking the, the flat spot. <laughs> fuck, oh wind sock. These swallows, they're going mental around us. Yeah! And we can even place do some waggas. Uh wagga wagga wagga. Beautiful little top landing site it was amazing, but we got a weather report that it was going to be howling northerly over there tomorrow, so we couldn't stay unfortunately. So now we're just trying to make a, a glide out uh, in front of us. It's probably a bit late, really, but we're going to see if we can make it out. Otherwise, we're going to land in the village down there. It was a good day all in all. We landed down here just now in a football field, so that was cool. <laughs> I always like landing in football fields because there's never normally any cables over the top of them, which is really important like to know. Uh, whereas in town, or town, the little village down there looked like a total mess of cables, so we landed here. We're gonna pack up and then we're probably gonna wander over into the, the town maybe, or maybe make a camp here, then wander over into town, see if we can find a bit of food. So this is cool, we've just made it to the to the edge of the flatlands, which you're gonna see in a second. Cool statue behind me. We've been walking for like two and a half hours. And uh, yeah, this is beautiful. What do you think, Boise? I wanna be over there where the clouds are. Uh, I can go flying. But this is not bad. So we just found another fort. I mean, this area must have been the front line of World War II, I guess. And uh, it's pretty dark in here. I don't know if you were gonna have to see much, but there's all these bullet holes in places. And then down where Jack is behind him at the other end, there's bullet holes there as well, where they've been like shooting across. You can see them on the edge there. <laughs> Super mad. I wonder who Lucia was. Heavy bags. Heavy enough. Oh. Dude, that's so sick. You can't really see this, but these guys are massive. Unfortunately, the GoPro makes them look very small. Whoa. Yahoo! Cool. Are you guys going to help us get out of here? That what? would be awesome. What's the good thing about birds, Jack? They're better pilots than you, we are. <laughs> so uh, we're just trying to make a little flight, but it's not really working. Jack's already bombed out. Uh, well, he's not quite bombed out, but he's flown out already. I'm going to do the same. It's a bit scary flying out over these uh, little mountain towns. Hopefully we've got enough height to clear through. It looks like it should do. Nice try, dude. We tried. We at least we made it to the field that we said. Yeah. Good job. You must be shooting your pants when you left. <laughs> I was pretty. <laughs> I was pretty low. <laughs> I was like, oh god, he's gone for it. So we just landed in this beautiful okay, park over here, more, and uh, a chap came out, uh, Lorenzo. <laughs> Say hi. This is Lorenzo, and uh, real classy Italian uh, hospitality. We get a, a beer, and yeah, it's. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. Grazie. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, one beer has turned into two and it's also turned into cheese. 
and a game of chess with Matteo. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Keep me awake, maybe, but no. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, I lost. <laughs> the champion! that we were gonna fly from here in Jamona but actually the wind tomorrow is even looking a little strong here so we're thinking we're gonna have to make a big a big hike um, to a really popular flying location on the Southern Alps called Maduno um, so yeah let's see how that goes barbarians what's wrong with the toilet seat every Italian village that we've come through so far always has its fair share of Guard dogs. They're never bigger than about 12 inches high. Ciao! Uh, there he is. Fierce dragon. Yeah! Oh my ears! Not the ears, the precious ears! I think we just walked close to 40 kilometers with very heavy bags and we make it to this nice pizza restaurant. Oh. Well, she said that. Man, you're not holding me with that one, Jello. Oh, my God, that breeze is amazing. So, we've just arrived at what's this place called again? Majuno? Majuno! That's the one. Just arrived at Majuno after uh, two and a half hour hike this morning since getting up. Not too bad. We went to a cafe, that was awesome. And uh, went to the shops, got some food because we're hoping that we're going to stay out of the valleys the next few days. We'll see. But uh, neither of us have been to Medina. It's a beautiful flying site though. And Jumalas in the air. How are you feeling, Jack? I feel good. What is your name? Daniela. Daniela, nice to meet you. <laughs> Trying to fly out before I get sucked up in. 
Might be a bit of a gnarly exit. go north because then we will go with the wind and get a nice glide onto that mountain uh, across the valley. We need to make a big crossing now so pretty exciting, hope it works out. I'm not getting any more climbs so I think it's going to be time to go. We came in low but now finally getting more established into the climbs. It was pretty windy and choppy earlier. But she's moving a bit better now. You can see the dolomites behind, it's beautiful. Yeah, the next crossing looks really big. Uh, I think we should cross to the west on top of the mountains. When you will have tailwind on the glide, and we should come onto those rocky slopes again. We should be on the soar and get up again. saves us. actually gone that far we didn't take off until gone 2.30 um, so what's that three hours but we've done 46 kilometers so far so that's pretty cool man absolutely starving we haven't really eaten all day so just trying to get some food in now oh, this is so fun end of the day taking our last climb before we probably head across and try to find somewhere to land and it's just so smooth and it's so unbelievably beautiful and I've got Jack just off my shoulder this is fucking insane we're at 3,000 meters right now it's not even cold it's so so cool setting up for camp in a super beautiful place. I love my little tent. It's kind of cool, it just like goes off one uh, hiking pole into there and then it's a, what they call like a single skin tent. But it's got a big mesh door on it so it's pretty nice. And then Jack's got a nice tent as well down there. So we got our little spots for the night. In the Dolomites, yeah, they say that all the Alps have been um, tamed. No, no. <laughs> there's a lot of valleys out here that 
Mm, don't see humans very loud. often. Not at all. We don't have enough water to cook our de mm. dehydrated food, so dinner is chocolate, gummies, and peanuts. To me, I always like with Volbiv flying. This is the dream. You have like an epic day of flying into terrain that you've never experienced before, and then you come like top land and put your tent up. Mm. And so far on the trip, we hadn't really been able to do that. And then we've just done it, and it feels very surreal to be sat here now, just like by ourselves, mm. place you can't really access otherwise. Super cool. No, far away from people. Mm. It's not. Nice. Yeah, proper adventure. Mm. morning of day five and uh, where we top landed last night there was no good water supply so I've come on a little adventure found the snow patch which is about I don't know, half an hour away from camp or something like that kind of semi rowdy to get here but I think it's totally worth stocking up with water for the day we both feel a bit dehydrated we didn't have enough it's really hard to carry enough water because it's so heavy and I don't know when you like top land which is what you want to do because you don't want to lose loads of height often there's no water supply so this is our best bet it's kind of cool actually i like doubling up all the sports you know you get used to this with like mountaineering and alpinism and skiing and stuff when you're out overnight that's it nicely done interesting from start to finish took off pushed out got pretty low managed to surf our way up the mountain again we got to the top of it and then we had to make this massive crossing into a super windy area it was like I was doing 70k at one point without a speed bar yeah, yeah. which is insane but and it then worked, but it worked and then we yeah. got up on top of this mountain 
yeah, up sawing there. on the other side. Which also worked. And then we were quite unsure what to do from there because we couldn't go further down the valley on the other side because we wouldn't be able to come back to yeah. this side of the valley. Oh. I actually don't even have a clue where we are right now. I need to I look at that. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I need to look. But uh yeah. Well, stressful flight. But good landing. Yeah, Pumped it down into this kind of big field, but it's got a lot of shit around it, so glad that we both landed safely and another day done of flying. Who says Volgov can't be a holiday? five days of some epic flying even though we didn't go super far on any of the flights it was still some of the most enjoyable interesting flying either of us ever done and probably walking a lot of walking a lot of walking uh, we're gonna put our little Volbe trip across the Alps on pause uh, because the weather is going for like the next six days and uh, Neither of us like walking that much, uh, but we will continue our trip from either here or the other end of the Alps or something back to here at some point in the near future. Um, dude, what an epic one! <laughs> it's ridiculous. It was so good. It's ridiculous. So many uh, awesome things. Oh shit! Is that my train? No. Uh, I'm jumping on a train. Six in the morning. <laughs> Go, go. <laughs>